Hey guys, today we're going to test the new pure filament from Aprinta Pro. I got myself the red and the blue one. Let's check it out. These pure filaments are very environment friendly and they are 100% biodegradable. They are also eco-free and they are coming in these carton boxes and the spools are also made from carton. Here they are. I already opened the red one. Here it is. It looks nice. Now let's open the blue one. Let me just take this plastic bag. And let's move these boxes away. All right. Some leftover. And here they are. Very nice color and the texture. They look very similar to a Printer Pro wood filament, but this one has important advantage. This filament should print easy as PLA and it should be no problem with the clogging with this pure filament. Great, now let's do some prints and compare them. Our testing printers are going to be these guys. On the right side on the bench is the Creality Ender 2, load with a red pure filament, and on the left side there is a CR10 Mini with a blue one. And I just want to mention that I replaced the both standard 0.4mm nozzle with a 0.5mm nozzle which is recommended for this filament. Alright, let's begin. So far so good, printing is going flawlessly. I use the standard PLA settings, 205 degrees on a hot end, 55 on the heated bed, nothing fancy, print speed is 35mm a second for this first test, we'll see how it goes. And I use 0.25mm layer height. And the layers are pretty much invisible. Awesome. And here they are. The blue Christmas tree printed with CR10 mini looks fantastic. The layers are invisible, corners and edges are great, all overhands are printed well and there is no imperfection except this one. Because I used a Printafix spray and heat on the bed it was impossible to take it off and rip the whole bottom of the tree. I should read instructions on a Printer Pro website which clearly says addition, agent and heated bed is no needed. Now let's check the red Christmas tree printed with Ender 2. It turned out to be very good, almost exactly like the CR10 Mini, except on this tree I have a bottom. I learned my lesson. The print looks great, except here on the top. I think I have some skipped layer here, I'm not sure what caused this. Is this something mechanical or the extruder skip step or the filament was stuck? I'm not very sure. And here they are, they are looking great. And now let's print the flower pot from the username Marsaka. This flower pot printed with CR10 mini is fantastic. Look at this rough matte surface. This is great. Even printed at 0.25mm layer height, you can't see any layers. I didn't use any adhesive on my glass bed, just 45 degrees temperature, just to keep it safe. Temperature on the hot end was 205 degrees and the speed was 40 mm a second, but the feel touching this surface is very unique. Awesome. Now let's check the red one. Ender 2 did a great job here again. This spot looks fantastic, very much like the CR10 Mini, thanks to the new cooling deck that I installed on my Ender 2. Surface is a great, the only mark on this print is on the bottom from removable tool, but the heated gun will take care of that. Very nice results, I like it. And my last prints is these two beautiful vases. And they are looking great. Again, CR10 Mini print this vase flawlessly. I use no adhesive on the glass bed, just 45 degrees to keep it safe. Bottom of the vase is like a mirror to the touch, very smooth. Surface is again fantastic. Layers are invisible, even at 0.25 mm layer height. I try to zoom here and show you guys this surface. Very nice to the touch, unique. Perfect prints without any imperfection. Great. The red vase printed with Ender 2 is very similar. Nice, matte, rough surface, great print, great color. This pure filament is a perfect for this kind of prints. Well guys, I gotta say that I'm very impressed with this pure filament from Aprinta Pro. In fact, I ordered two spools more in green color for my next project. Aprinta Pro did a great job with the pure filament, I experienced no issues and zero clogging with this pure filament and it really prints just as easy as a PLA. 
This is great and unique filament and I can definitely recommend it. Alright guys, links of the pure filament are in the video description, check it out if you like it. Thanks for the watching and I see you in next one. Bye bye.